Hey everyone, welcome back to FNAF World Simulator. So, in the last episode, I went and finally finished uh, Foxy Fighters. Then, I leveled up Golden Bounce Pot to 17, apparently. That was 16, but I leveled up Golden Bounce Pot and I defeated the 8 character from the HUB. And also, obviously, as you notice, I changed my team. I just changed it back to this. And I chose Golden Bounce Pot over Geist. Uh, I don't know if that's the right thing to do, but that's what I did, so, yeah. Um, but last thing, if you remember from last time, I found Purple Guy for some reason in Rainbow Land, and he has 15 purple clocks and chests that he wants us to find. Oh yeah, also Fredbear's there now, <laughs> I forgot about that. But in Rainbow Land, or literally anywhere actually, there are 15 clocks and chests that he wants me to find. And these clocks are invisible unless you go near them. Like that. And once you go near them, it starts a race. And the race, for some reason, have, like, rainbow... So apparently these clocks were made by, like, the rainbows. So then they have, like, tricks on them. And that makes it hard to do races. I, I don't know why. It makes sense, I guess. So, yeah. They're, as I said, there's 15, and they're invisible unless you go near them. I only know the location of this one because I accidentally ran into it before. So, I'm going to have to figure out where the other 14 chests are. <laughs> so, um, why can't I... Oh, I think I realized what I have to do. I think I have to break this rock. I think that's why. Okay, so I realized that uh, I, was, I was messing around with uh, three, and I realized that what you can do is actually you can go down for some reason, and then you just go over here, and then you reposition yourself because it makes it different. I don't really know why. But once you reposition yourself and you aren't attacking an enemy, I found... <laughs> I found out that if you, for some reason, reposition yourself, it's different than just going straight up. And then for some reason here, you go on this part of the house instead of that part, the lower part. So you could just go here, and then you just get the chest. Now, I don't know why it's different. For some reason it is, and I hate it. And I interacted with Shadow Freddy, and that was not intentional. But, whatever. I already have all the bites, so I don't really need to be here anymore, but <laughs> still. So, uh, that's one thing I figured out. But another thing I figured out is that Marionette is really annoying. <laughs> what I mean by that is, you see how Marionette is over here? For some reason, Marionette decides to go over here whenever you start the race. So, what I figured out is that if you break these three logs, and you can actually just go down here, and then go over here and take a shortcut. But the thing is, Marionette is in my way. So what I figured out is if you can, if you interact with Marionette, and then you say no, and leave, you can, you can stay in the overworld technically, while being on the same tile as Marionette. It's like regular FNAF world. See? Where I'm pretty sure you can do the exact same thing in regular FNAF world. So you can just break all three of these logs. And then Marionette is just there. Now I'll show you how that looks in the race and what I'm talking about in a bit. But for now, I need to actually go there. Okay. So another thing I figured out. I think that this path going to the uh, right instead of up. I think it's actually faster by like half a second. And for some reason that half a second actually makes a difference. Because I did a, I did another test, and I, I wasn't fast enough, and I needed literally half a second, so I think you have to go this way, but I don't know. Anyway, so, as you see, Marionette switched spots. She, no, now Marionette's over there, I, I don't know. But, anyway. So yeah, instead of going straight up, you have to reorganize yourself and go into this tree, because it makes it different. And then, just do this. Uh, and plus 200. So, if you didn't, if you don't know what I did, if you don't know what I did, I 
went through, I went here, I went straight up, and then I'm not in this battle in that race. How did you survive? Okay. <laughs> Fun Phantom Foxy just survived for no reason, I guess. Anyway, I go straight up, and then for some reason, being on this tile... Oh, I didn't do it right. What? Okay, whatever. But being on this tile is different from being on this tile, because if you're up on this one right here, then you can just go right here, and I don't know why. So what you can do is, once you're here, you go to the uh, right, and then down, and you just go up. Don't know why it's like that, it just is, I guess. So, whatever. Um, so I have one of the 15 chests. I, okay. <laughs> so, I have 14 chests left to go, and I have no idea where they are. I'm That purple one was just in a one-off area, so I'm guessing I'm just gonna have to wander around. I don't- I don't even know. Like, I'm gonna have like- I have to, I'm gonna have to find some like one-off spots. Like this, or even this. And I just have to check if they have anything or not. Or at least that's what I'm assuming. Because... That's how Rainbow Land had it. Okay, so I'm back... <laughs> in the racing area of all places. And... Of course, why- why wouldn't there be one? So, there's one in the race. It looks like... No? Wait, I know this- I don't know where this is. This isn't the star in the blue area. I think so. I think I know where that is. Oh, this is slipperiness. Okay. I think this is in the start. In the blue area. Unless it's over there, which I doubt it, but it might. So, it's, it's been, oh my goodness, it's been about 30 minutes, it took me that long to find one. This is only the second one I found, I did not find any. They're so hard to find. But, no, I think this is in the maze actually, this has to be. There is no way that you can go, go to the start that amount of time. So it has to be somewhere here in the portal section. And I'm guessing it should be around here somewhere. But I don't actually know. This is, me, this is reminding me of the race I had to do. Okay. I completely forgot how to do this race, I'm gonna be honest. It's been a bit... Where is the chest? I thought it would be here. This is interesting. I thought it would be like right here. Um. What? Where is that? It should be... Yeah, this should be the start because it has one and two here. I think so, at least. If I go back here... And not get ram into the wall... It should be somewhere here. If I remember correctly. No? Do I not remember correctly? This is where the blue area is. With the portals. Uh, let's see. The moving portals. Is that part of the race? That doesn't look like it. This is just for fast tokens. I actually have no idea where this chest is, I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea. And what's really confusing me is that there's no way that you can go through this entire portal section and get here in 22 seconds. That doesn't really seem possible to me. But that should... Is that where it is? I, I actually have no idea. <laughs> this is really confusing to me. So... I guess now I know that's where one is, so maybe now it's time for me to find another one, because I I don't think I'm going to have enough time to find where that's going to be. 
or even like try to beat it. I, I have no idea where it is. And I still have 13 clo more clocks to find. So, either I'm gonna have to go and meet Fredbearer next episode, or I'm just gonna have to make like four episodes of this because this is gonna take forever. I, I don't have enough time. It's, it's gonna take too long, I don't... Uh, where is it? Here. I... I don't know where that is. I'm really confused. Okay, so, somehow, I found another one. And... I just realized that this makes it really annoying. Because, I just realized... That the clocks aren't always in one-off areas. So they can just be anywhere, like the one I found in Rainbow Land. So, this is gonna be annoying, but... So this is in Literally Gear Lake, I have to go... Okay, I think I know how to do this. But, let's see. Oh. We have to jump? Okay. Um, that makes things a lot more annoying. Oh, <laughs> this makes things a lot more annoying. Even more than I realized. And... I have 34 seconds. Oh. Okay. So... This is gonna be really annoying. Uh, I don't know why I continued down here. What's- isn't this a dead end? I think so, yeah. I- I don't know how to get to Lilligear Lake, I'm gonna be honest. I had a different idea, which I don't know if it works now because of the fact that we have to jump. So, I have no idea. But, we can try at least. So this is not the entrance. Oh, I have to fall. That makes it annoying. Okay, I got it. So I go down here. Then all the way here. And then down. So, now I have to jump. This makes it- this makes this really annoying. Okay, so I have to do that for some reason. Okay. Um... What do I do? I forgot. I don't remember the layout. Can I get out through the entrance? No? Okay. Um... Yeah, here. This is the area I was thinking about. But I don't... Wait. Underwater. Okay. That makes kind of sense, I guess. Oh! This makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> but it does, too. I hate it. Okay. So, I have to... Let's see. I think I can do this one. This one seems like one I can do. So I have to break this, I'm assuming. I think it's here. I think this is where the the, the 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 chest is. So what I'm gonna have to do is here. I'm guessing, and I I have no idea. I'm just trying to figure it out. So let's see. I have to go. I'm guessing this way because I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that and jump. I... Okay, I got this wrong. What? I'm so confused. <laughs> okay, so maybe... I'm, I don't even know. I'm so confused. I'm guessing I somehow used this, maybe? Okay. Uh, leave me alone. I can just run. I'm gonna run. Okay. So, what I have to do is I have to somehow... Where do I even... St what? Okay. Um, let's see. So, I, I probably should have done this from the start. I'm kind of stupid. <laughs> but, anyway. So, I have to go here, and then... I have to go up here. And I do this. And then... Okay. Leave me alone. Please. Oh, I forgot, I don't have block haunting on. Okay. <laughs> well, run. Okay, so I go here. I jump up, jump up. 
And I assume I go down here? No, I can't. What? I... What? Okay. Oh, so I go here. And then I have to... I have to... Oh, okay. Oh, that isn't that hard. Okay. And then I... I leave. Leave. Thank you. So what I do next is I'm guessing I break this. Or go up here from this. And then I have to jump. Okay. So I have to somehow jump here? Or... No. I have to jump... Can I even do this? Yeah, I can. Okay. Okay. I have repel battles on. I'm 90% sure I do. And yet, a lot of them come back, and I don't know why. Okay, I, can. I, I don't know why I'm facing so many enemies. I should have repel battles on. But anyway. So after I do that, I go up. Okay, that's really hard. And then... No, I know what to do. Is... I need to break this, too. Um... No. Wait, can I? I can. Okay. So then once I do that... Then I go here. Break this. Let's see. So I do this, jump, I get left alone. How? I I don't even know. This is such a large area. If you do this, even 34 seconds doesn't even seem like enough. I don't even know. Okay. I'm only halfway, not even. Yeah, okay. I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to get any of them. I'm going to be honest. Even... All of them don't look possible. I don't even know. I just... The only thing I can do is I can just find them. And that's it. I can't actually, like, do them. They're all... They're, they all seem impossible. I don't even know. Because the time just seems really annoying. I don't... I'm not sure how, like, I'm not even sure how to do it either, so that makes it even more worse, somehow. Which I didn't even know was possible at this point. Okay. Yeah, so I think that's what I have to do somehow. Uh, I already bought your things, so I'm not going to. Yeah, so I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm just gonna have to find them and then test out for like five minutes if I can or not. Can or can't beat them or not, because it just doesn't seem possible. Okay, so I didn't feel, um, I didn't feel like that great with just finding the clocks. So I decided I will try and get one, uh, I mean two of the 15 clocks, or chests. So... I decided to try to get this one, and I was looking at this, and what I realized was that there are fences here, and there are also portals. So I started thinking, what is near the blue area, because I know for a fact this is blue, this does not seem like the maze. Because I recognize this chest, and this is where you get the key. This is an area for a fast token chest, and this is an area for a key. So then I started thinking, where is on top of the blue chest and i realized that that is where nightmare foxy was so i think or i know because i went over there and i realized that it's literally just if i go up here it's literally just right here so if i go down here because race maniac decided to go in a weird what weird place i decided i i, I realized that it's literally just right here, where Withered, Fo no, Withered Freddy and Nightmare Foxy was. I'm pretty sure it's just here. So yeah, if I navigate through this, 
whatever it is. I think it's this one? No, it's the other one. Okay. It's good to- it's actually good I did this, because now I know which one it is. Um, now it's this one, and yeah, right here. And I'm pretty sure this is where it is. It should be right here, because of this portal- see, fast token chest, right there, as I said. And I'm pretty sure this is where the key is, in the two sunflowers. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's just right there. So, as long as I can remember that it's right here, I think that's what I actually have to do. So, I don't actually have to go to the start and then do the blue area like I originally thought. I just had to go above the blue area. So, yeah, it's not as bad as I originally thought. It's still bad, but it's not as bad. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, also now I'm above 1,000 fast tokens. So, that's fun. But, anyway. Okay. So, I decide I shall try. And try, I will. I will try, in fact. I... I don't know. The, the slipperiness seems... More. Like... Whenever you move- whenever you turn directions, like, you do stop, and you try to move in that direction, but this just seems more, <laughs> for some reason, to me. Like, it, this doesn't seem right, and I don't know why. Anyway, I'm so close, but I don't know if I have enough time. Time is the question. The question is, do I have enough time? Uh, no, because I went the wrong way. Okay, so I did it. Uh, that took... Oh, okay, that took about, like, 10 minutes, I'm gonna be honest. Even with knowing the route, it still took a long time to do that. But still, I finally did it. I'm at 1,200 fast tokens. Or 1,200, whatever you want to say. And I might as well spend my money on... Uh, Funtime Foxy, I guess. Wait, how many bites do I need? Uh, one, f six. I don't think I have enough money for the bombs, but this one should be... Let's see. Grim Reapers. I know. Okay. So, let's see. Where is Shadow Freddy here? It should be at the bottom, right? I think so. He should be right here, yeah. Okay, good thing I remember that, or else I would have to search for him, which would be pretty annoying, but right here. Okay. Uh, I If I have enough money, I'll buy all of them, but I... Oh, I do. Nice. Okay. So next I have three more, which I'm guessing would be in the graveyard, or... No, not, no, not Freddy's Land. Yeah, it should be in the graveyard, if... If I remember correctly, should be in the graveyard. Because I don't think I bought from him here ever. It should be. Okay. I only have 154 left, so I probably can't buy anything from him. But, yeah, I can't. I need, like, 3,000. Or, like, 250 at least. To get all the bites from him. So that's gonna be kind of annoying. But... I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to talk to Fredbear in Rainbow Land. I know I'm talking to him here, but
But I just want to see... The, yeah, this should be the real Fredbear. I think. I'm pretty sure this is the real Fredbear. There. I don't think the one in Rainbow Lane is real, if you remember from last time. But... I guess I'm gonna have- I guess I'm gonna go to him here. I'm just- okay. Let's go. Let's go for it. What do you have to say? I'm gonna actually re read his text this time. Ah, you have arrived. First and foremost, I must applaud your excellence in attaining all of the seven power orbs. It was by no means an easy task. Many obstacles stood in your way, but you never backed down. Not even once. What an inspirational team you are. Now that your hunt for power orbs has finally come to a close, you must keep the orbs somewhere safe. We cannot risk letting Rain Bear get anywhere near them. Just imagine all the ruckus he could cause if he were able to get all these orbs. He would be incapable incap of creating huge illusions that would be impossible to distinguish from reality. If he got all the power orbs, he would have complete control over everything you see and hear. You wouldn't be able to land a single attack on him, making him an unstoppable force. Getting the orbs back would be hopeless. With all these things considered, it is imperative that you give me the seven power orbs you have collected so I can put them in a highly protected place. Why don't you just let me have them? <laughs> of course, four of the power orbs you have gotten were used as power shorts for my machine, which has been guarded by Marionette. This is why I called him here and I asked him to take the power orbs away from the machine so he may give them to me. Why don't you just give me the power orbs though? <laughs> because I already did everything, so just give me them. <laughs> I mean, we already we already know that Rainbear doesn't beat can't beat me, so I don't know why we can't. Your wish is my command, Rain Fredbear. I almost said Rainbear. Here are the power ups. I may, I admit, at first I was I found it strange for you to suddenly give up on your machine by wait wanting to take the power source, but now I understand it's for the best, as the orbs must be protected. Yes, indeed, it's for the greater good. Thank you, Marionette. You may leave now. Great. Four to seven. That's four, four orbs out of the seven. Now it's your turn to give me the power orbs you possess. Magnificent. Now of all the eight, I mean seven power orbs are with me. Like I said, I shall be taking them somewhere safe where no one can lay their hands on them. See you later, my friends. Uh, is everything alright with you? You don't look, se you don't seem so well. Uh oh, yeah, it doesn't definitely doesn't appear like you're feeling good. Just signs of dizziness. It looks like you're on the verge of fainting. Hmm. So that's what happened, I guess. <laughs> look at look at Fredbear. He just looks so weird. No, oh, 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 wh what text was he saying? Oh, I can't believe it. No, my eyes must be, de must be deceiving me. There's no way. Huh? You're getting up? This is incredible. You're awake. So this is the real Fredbear, isn't it? Because the other one's probably Rainbow in disguise. Oh, <laughs> hello there, friend. My name is Fredbear. And you're in Fazbear Hills, or what's left of it. Are you the real one, or...? You seem really lost, but do not worry. I'll tell you everything you need to know. You're not you're not real, are you? A while ago, you had an accident, and you were not knocked unconscious. During the period you were asleep, Freddy Fazbear conquered Aminatronica. True, I guess? He has caused great destruction, destruction to our land. It's been five... Wait, why am I- Oh, yeah, I remember. So whenever I restarted the game, I only had Bounce Pod in my party, so that's why I'm only in Bounce Pod. I don't have- I'm not anyone else. It's been five days since Freddy took over. Ah, so this is if Freddy won, I guess. I got you could say we spent the- spent five nights at Freddy's world. <laughs> of course, why not? Besides Freddy, the two of us are the only people still in Animatronica. Everyone else once lived here has either fled or- they were. You know what? Doesn't matter in right now. How are you feeling? Huh? You managed to. S you say you went on a journey with a big team. You managed to defeat Freddy? I'm afraid that was all just a dream while you had where you were asleep. Mm hmm. I mean, I hit the party. <laughs> so. I, I think. I think this is from the orbs. <laughs> I don't believe this. You know, suffering an incident? Oh, remember suffering an incident? You knocked your head really hard. It must have affected your memory. So why can't I remember everything I just did in my dream? <laughs> what? <laughs> Whatever. I've been watching over you while you were asleep, keeping you out of harm's way. I was starting to doubt you would ever wake up. I was shocked when you finally did awaken. Okay, sure. 
I suppose the best we, you can do now is leave Animatronica. It's far too dangerous in here. As for me, I'm, I will be staying. I'm not ready to leave yet. This is my home. That is why I didn't flee. Sure. <laughs> What's that you say? You want to go after Freddy and defeat him? Haha, <laughs> just... Okay. <laughs> that was a mistake. Sorry. Uh, he said listen something. I wish I wish things could get better. I really do. But I've already stopped hoping things will get better. All I hope for anyone is that nothing will get worse. You still want to go after Freddy? But how? What's your big plan? You... Did, did you knock your head so bad to the point where you raised your common sense? Don't you realize Freddy outmatches you a lot? No matter what I say, you won't change your mind, huh? I must I must say I admire your determination of yours. The will to achieve something regardless of how unfavorable the odds may be. You know what? If you're going after Freddy, I'm coming with you. You're going to need as much help as you can get. It doesn't matter what our chances are against them. We must fight for what's ours. I just realized, aren't you moving slower than usual? I feel like you are. I know what Freddy's current whereabouts is. He's on the upper part of Fesber Hills. I believe he enjoys resting there. H how do you know that? <laughs> okay, whatever. And does not just anyone who does not want anyone to disturb him, which is why he placed a gate blocking the way. Wait, so how do you know he's there if there's a blade? There's a what? If there's a gate. <laughs> Said gate can be opened either by Freddy himself, can only be opened by Freddy himself, or by obtaining 20 keys that are scattered across Fazbear Hills. Why not? In Choppy's Hill Woods. We must get all 20 keys if we want to reach Freddy. Of course, why not? Easier said than done, however. Freddy has littered animatronic with many terrible traps. There are spikes on the ground, cannonballs, landmines, and mo- What? Okay. You must be very, very cautious when walking around. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> There's another problem. The pathway to Choppy's Woods is locked. There's a specific button in Fazbear Hills that opens it up, but the button can only be reached by breaking down some stumps. There's no way we can do that without an axe. Okay. Fortunately, I have an axe right here with me. I found it stuck on a stump. I had a feeling it would come handy. So why didn't you do it yourself? If you can go to Choppy's Woods, what? Fred Bear is not making any sense. <laughs> Thanks. So are you ready for Freddy? Because I sure aren't. We're gonna face him either way. Let's go, bounce spot. So, you're telling me the only reason why you decided to leave is because we woke up. Hmm. I, I think this is Rainbow. I'm gonna be honest. I think this is Rainbow making an illusion of... Oh, that's so weird. That is so weird. Oh, you can't move. Okay, that's. So what happens if I make Fredbear go into a spike? Oh, I have a health bar. Ah, oh, can I actually move into the spike? I can. Okay. Can I just leave Bounce Pot in the dust? Uh. Okay. So I can't. I can't go off screen with either of them. And I can only jump to one. Yeah. So how do I heal? I... Bites, yeah, none. Okay, so if I've been asleep, how do I know what chips and bites I have? Hmm? <laughs> I don't even know. So yeah. This is... Only me. It's Fazbear Hills. Look at Fredbear's icon, he looks sad. Okay. So that's where one key is. Oh, is this the landmine thing? What is this? Oh. It's slipperiness. Got it. Wait, I have to do this twice because of Fredbear? Oh my god. Fredbear, can you stay behind? Okay. So I, so I understand how this works now, I guess. And, yeah, so I have to, so I'm gonna have to do this next episode. Which I realize now. Which is gonna be a pain. Also, I'm pretty sure this is still in normal mode. So imagine doing this on hard mode. This is gonna be a pain in hard mode. If I ever do hard mode, I probably won't, to be honest. Because of how... Big this game is already. 
I might do it, but maybe not. I don't know. But I'm just gonna get one key. Wait, what happens if Fredbear dies? What happens then? He's always gonna... What happens if he dies? I, I kinda need to know that, because he's gonna die. And I only, only, only have one of 20. Okay, whatever. So, I guess I'm gonna do this next time, because I don't have time to do it now, and this seems extremely weird to me. Um, I don't know why there's balloons on this grave, but whatever. Um, so I have one of 20 keys. I've gotten into this reality where Freddy has some on one, I guess. So, yeah, I, Fredbear's gonna die. Nothing I can really do about it. <laughs> He's just gonna die. I, I can't do anything about it. I, I have no healing of any kind. So, yeah, I, I hope you at least somewhat liked it. I didn't really like, I don't really like how this video turned out. It didn't go out as planned, it did not at all. I thought this was gonna go completely different. But I hope you kind of, at least, kind of enjoy this video. And I guess I'll see you all next time in whatever reality this is, I guess. So, yeah. Bye-bye!